review of our previous two videos, we inspected the X-Men 28 from A1 Comics in Sacramento. It was a nice glossy cover. It was rated at a 4.5, but it had room for improvement. So we took a look at it. We started to remove the staples in preparation for wet cleaning of all of the wraps. The cover showed nicely. It was glossy, but it had a lot of tanning to it, and we knew we could fix that up. Calcium hydroxide with a mild surfactant added to it served to clean out the acids out of the paper that had built up over time. We agitated it around and this loosened up a lot of the uh, dirt that was on the book and definitely some of this brown tan and cream colors. After we poured it off, we could see in the resulting uh, solution there was a lot of brown. That is from the tannins in the book and the acids. Our trusty bounty paper towels were used to soak up the excess moisture prior to putting the wrap into the heat press for some pressure drying. Once it came out of the uh, heat press, it was smooth and flat, still retained its gloss, and any dry cleaning could be done around the uh, back cover. Fortunately, it really didn't need anything. A lot of the dirt came off with the liquid. The tannins in the book, it, it still had that, retained that nice creamy color, which is what we were after. We then moved on to deacidifying the interior wraps. All of the wraps were treated the same way, one at a time. The solution was poured on. Again, we poured off all the acids, and what came out were some nice white pages. After that, we went to the very painstaking assembly process. First we inspected everything. It still had a nice good snap to the paper and nice gloss. So we didn't lose too much of the sizing during the cleaning process. So I was very pleased with this. Once that was done, we laid out the wraps and we started the insertion process of the staples. And I showed you how to insert them at a 90 degree angle before twisting them in. Once then, we finalize the pushing down of the staples and right into their original places with no paper tearing. After that, we inspected this. Everything looks really good. We still kept that, that nice gloss to it and we still had that nice loop in preparation for pressing a new spine. The color breaks from the original spine ticks were still there, but the dents from them were not, so those were pressed out. We then moved on to pressing the new spine. I demonstrated how I press a new spine. There's many techniques out there, but this is the one I prefer. After inspection, the spine looked great. The, co the, the cover really had some great gloss. We still had the creamy look to the interior pages because we didn't want that bone white. All of the pages, uh, we removed that, that yellow finish that comes with all the tannins. Those are out. The inks look nice. They're a little bit faded, but that was something that was done in the manufacturing process. And here we are with the final product back from CGC. I was very pleased with the presentation of the book in the case. It was nice and white. The spine looked wonderful. The ticks were really minimal, and we still had our nice printer stamp. 6.5 universal grade. That was a big treat to see. I was very happy with the grade bump from a 4.5 to a 6.5. Thank you for watching this series, and please like and subscribe and follow me for more exciting projects. I love doing these things for you guys, and I enjoy your comments.